Third race, Pacers are on the track and parading to the post. These are Stallions and Gildings racing one mile, field of nine. No changes. Ten minutes until post time. Number one is Senator Falcon, owned by Patricia Nicholas of Lebanon, Jeff McNabb, the trainer driver. Number two, Crown Time MacArthur, owned by Bob Perry of Franklin, David Perry trains for Brad Hanners. Number three, Winsome Flat Out, owned by Marlon and Laurie Smith of Thornville. Marlon Smith trains for Sean Mayhew. Four is Amos Orandy, owned by Richard Stevens and Sal Nasir of Columbus. Roy Murphy trains Mike Wilder. Five, Leroy's Toy, owned by Ross Smith of Tarleton, Ohio. Jack Daly trains and drives. Number six, Max Casey, owned by the ENL Stable of Dayton. Fred Winstead Jr. trains for Randy Tharps. Seven, Bomber Two, owned by David Hanauer of Lebanon. Pam Hanauer is the trainer. Lori Hanauer drives. Number eight, It's a Trap, owned by the Rents Davis Stable of Dayton. Robert Rents trains Jimmy Wisman of the bike. Number nine, Color Our Fortune, owned by Clara Young of Springfield. Darren Mauser, the trainer driver. Win play show perfecta, super facto, wagering eight minutes now until post time. Eight minutes. Third race, pacing stallions and gildings all on behind the gate. On the back stretch, there they go. And uh, they're off, and it's Leroy's toy, wasting no time to make the lead from the outside. It's a trap, gets away second. Towards the inside of three, Crown Ty MacArthur from between horses fourth. It's Amos or Andy. Fire outside five. Color our fortune at the rail in sixth. It's Senator Falcon. On the rail in seventh, win some flood out. Followed eighth by Max Casey. Then it's a gap of three to Bummer two. Around the first turn in Leroy's tour. It's up to the early pace here by two lengths. It's a trap of the inside racing second. The opening quarter, 28 and three. At the rail in racing a third. Crown time MacArthur, color our fortune is again caught uncovered. He's parked to the outside, moving first up and forth. Amos Sarandi at the bill is fifth. Senator Falcon coming to the outside, grabbing cover sixth at the bill and seventh is win some flood out to the underflow eight comes Max Casey and Bummer two lagging behind ninth. Give it a half and it's Leroy's toy. Six to one shot with a lead by two. Half, 59 and one. And color our fortune. Steadily advancing on the outside. He's now second at the leader's wheel. It's a trap. At 15 to 1 along the wheel is third. Crown time MacArthur to the inside, gamping a bit fourth. To the outside at five comes Senator Falcon. To the outer flow in sixth, Max Casey at the rail and buried to seventh now is Amos Sarandi. Nearing the three quarter mile marker and on the front with the lead. Leroy's toy leading the entire mile. Three quarters, 128 and three in color. Our fortune has been parked every step of the mile. It's a trap is right there. He should be well rested and set to strike on the inside third. And now angling to the outside comes Crown Time MacArthur. Turning for home, lost an eighth of a mile ago. And down the stretch they come. And on the front, Leroy's toy. Holding off the late challenging Crown Time MacArthur, but Crown Time MacArthur coming with every stride. It's a trap to the inside. Crown Time MacArthur up by a head over Leroy's toy, and it's a trap. Trackside, the official winner of the third number two, Crown Time MacArthur, 10 year old son of Brett Mahone. All by Bomb Perry of Franklin, Ohio. David Perry trains. Brad Hanners in the Sonky. Recording his third of the season. His fastest of the season, 159 and three fifths. For driver Brad Hanners, two quick wins here, giving him a driving double. Third race, now official, the $2 Perfecta 2 5 combination, $70.20, 70 20. The 2589 Superfecta combination, $5,311.80.